Don't ever excuse your behavior by claiming it's my nature. At its core, your human nature is demonic. And this is what Sigmund Freud called the id, the dark, inescapable part of your personality. Because your human personality is like an iceberg, right? The tip of the iceberg is what people see, your thoughts, your attitudes, your ideas and attributes. That's what you and others are conscious of. But the bulk of the iceberg is below the water. It's below the level of consciousness where all your dark, hidden, libidino, insidious desires and instincts exist. And this is exactly the driving force of your personality. You cannot escape from your human nature, your id. That's the part that makes us all sinful, the nature you were born with. And this is exactly why Jesus said, you must be born again. In John chapter 3, verse 8, it's a spiritual birth. You were born once into this world. That's your natural birth. And nobody came into this world any other way, by the way. You didn't float down from the sky. You didn't enter the, this world from another planet. You were born through a woman. Everyone was born through a woman. And in the same way, to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born through Christ. And just like your human nature was present when you were born, when you are born again in Christ, your new nature, the divine nature of Christ, will be present. Only when Christ begins to live in you can you become regenerated and live by a new nature, the nature of Christ. But until then, you're just, all of us, we're just degenerate people. Look, there's no point telling a degenerate person you have to repent. You have to stop swearing, stop getting drunk, stop fornicating, stop the jealousy, hate and racism, because that's all an unregenerate person knows to do. They can't help themselves. They're born with that nature. In fact, we all have the same nature as Hitler. Hitler was not an anomaly. Hitler was someone each one of us has the potential to become because each one of us is born evil. Each one of us is born with that sin nature. And that's why each one of us needs a savior, Jesus Christ. And when we call upon the name of Jesus, when we believe upon him, you see, believing is not just mental assent. It's not just saying three Hail Marys before you go to sleep. Believing is when you put your full weight and trust on Jesus. You believe on him. You rest in him. You put your full weight of faith and trust and belief in him. You throw yourself on Jesus and you believe and accept him into your heart. And when that happens, you begin to live by a new nature that trumps the old nature, that overpowers the old nature. That's the nature, the sinful nature that you were born with. And you begin to live by a new law. The law of the spirit of life, the Bible says in Romans 8 verse 2, sets us free from the law of sin and death. So we must be born again. We must be regenerated. We must be birthed into Christ, through Christ, into the kingdom of God. That's the only way to have power over sin and death. The old nature, the id, that every one of us are born with.